Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious cabbage curry. Cabbage is a pretty bland vegetable and this is a very flavorful way to eat it. It's a pretty quick recipe, it's not complicated, you can easily make this on a weeknight. I know it's hard to get kids to eat vegetables and even adults, but if the vegetables taste good, they are much more likely to eat it. So let's get started. We'll start with a teaspoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, and half a teaspoon of fennel seeds. Fennel and cabbage go really well together. One teaspoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, and a half a teaspoon of red chili powder. One teaspoon of finely chopped ginger, and one teaspoon of finely chopped garlic. I've also slit one green chili in half. This is one large yellow onion chopped. This is chopped tomato. You can also substitute tomato puree if you'd like. About a half a cup. We'll need two pinches of hing powder. It's also called asafoetida. And of course, our green cabbage. This is one medium head of green cabbage. I'll show you how to slice it in just a minute. We'll of course need some salt. As for the oil, you can use vegetable oil or use coconut oil for more flavor. After you've washed and dried the cabbage, take off the core. Cut the cabbage in half. Now you want to remove the core from the cabbage. Just make a V with your knife. And the core comes straight out. Do the same with the other half. If the core is big, just keep going and take off a little more. Cut the cabbage into four pieces. It's just easier to manage that way. Take a quarter wedge of cabbage and just slice it thinly. And then what I do is just stack the slices and cut it in half. Because otherwise it's just too long. Do the same with the other quarters. It doesn't have to be super thin. Cabbage will taste just fine even if you don't chop it super thin. As you can see, it's a lot of cabbage and we were able to slice it up very quickly. All this cabbage will cook down. Heat up a big pan. Pour in a couple of tablespoons of oil. When the oil's hot, add your mustard seeds. They've started popping. Add the cumin and fennel. And just saute that for about 20-30 seconds until they change color a little. You'll start to smell the seeds. Now add the onion, garlic and green chili and ginger. Also two pinches or three pinches of the hang. Saute this until it's golden brown. Stir this occasionally. You can see the onions are soft. They're just starting to get golden brown. Make sure you don't burn the garlic and ginger. Now we can add our ground spices, the coriander, turmeric, and chili powder. Saute this for just about 30 seconds. Just want the raw flavor of the spices to go away. With the one big green chili I added and the half a teaspoon of chili powder, this cabbage curry will be spicy. If you want the cabbage curry mild, just leave out the chili powder or add just a tiny bit. I add the spice because cabbage is a pretty boring vegetable and I think it really needs it. You don't want to burn the spices, so make sure you turn the heat down if your pan is too hot. I smell the spices, so it's ready. Now I'm gonna add the tomatoes. And a half a teaspoon salt. Cook this for about a minute. You also want the raw taste of the tomato to go away. If you're using chopped tomatoes, you can cover the pan and make sure that the tomatoes are nice and soft. You can smash them. Now the tomatoes are nicely cooked. We can add the cabbage. 
It looks like a lot of cabbage, but it will cook down. And you just want to gently stir it. I used a big pan, so I do have some space. Add a half a teaspoon of salt on the cabbage. See the cabbage is already starting to wilt down. Make sure you get all the sauce from the bottom and cover the cabbage with it. Okay, that looks good. I'm not going to add any water at this point. I'm just going to cover the pot and cook it for about five minutes. Then I'll stir it and check to see if it needs any water. You can see the cabbage is wilting a little. We haven't added any water. Cover it and cook until very tender, stirring about every five minutes. It's been five more minutes. Cover this and cook it for five more minutes or until it's nice and tender. Taste it and add more salt if you'd like. I'm gonna add some more salt. And I'm also gonna add half a teaspoon of sugar. Mix that up. Cover and cook for another five minutes and the cabbage will be nice and tender. Our cabbage is ready, it's nice and tender. Anytime during cooking, if you feel like your cabbage is sticking to the bottom of the pan, go ahead and add a little bit of water. Give it a final taste and add more salt if you'd like. I hope you try this yummy cabbage recipe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.